Hey girl, did you know that there's actually a hierarchy of men when you are dating? Probably not because I have created it. It's called the Anmars Hierarchy of Men. And I have my own podcast episode on my Get Your Guy Coaching podcast. So check that out if you want more details on this, but I'm gonna give you a general overview. So there are five different levels. The first level, it, and it aligns with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, is physiological. So these are the guys that are just looking for sex. That's all. They only want to connect physically, but not emotionally. This represents 30% of the guys. And many of you have already experienced these guys before, so I don't need to even go into more detail about that. Level two is the safety guys. These are the guys that either are underemployed, unemployed, or have multiple jobs and won't have a lot of time for you, or who don't have a place of their own and are always trying to shack up with you. These are the level two guys. Again, these guys will not have time for you and will not be able to support you. So we want to avoid these level two guys as well. Now, level one and level two guys, I always call the disappearing acts because if you're not able to provide for them, they will disappear immediately, okay? Level three guys, these are what I call the love and belonging guys. These are the guys that actually don't have very tight connections. So they don't have a lot of friends. They are not close with their family. You have a lot of intimacy and trust issues. When you see that, when you observe that, when you ask questions about their relationships with friends and family and they don't have a lot, I want you to realize level three, okay? Not great for relationships. Now, let's talk about level four. Level four is the esteem guy. And these guys are a little bit tricky because these guys will look good on paper, will have accomplished a lot of things, but the self-confidence isn't fully there. Um, also, just knowing who they are isn't really there as well. These are the guys that maybe have gotten into consulting or investment banking and have done the traditional path, but really want to be artists, but don't have the emotional and self-confidence to actually go for what they want and what they what really speaks to them. Yeah. So these guys can be tricky because you think that they have it together, but inside they're really suffering. These are the level four guys. You have to really dig into who they are to figure out if they're ready for a relationship. Now I want to focus on level five guys. And these guys represent 10 to 15% of all of the guys out there. So when you hear me say, you know, only 10 or 20% of the guys that are dating are actually ready for a relationship, trust me, these are the self-actualized guys. These are the guys that have are in a growth mindset. So they are growing their inner as well as their outer, right? And you'll be able to understand that when you have conversations with them and they come from a healing place. I hope this helps you as you date and you actually evaluate men.